Nation, how's it going? This is Alex Yu and you're watching the DC edition of the Raging Nation show. This is just web series where we're talking about all things that matter to me in the DC Extended Universe. This is episode number 47. And in this episode, I want to start off by giving you guys a final box office update for Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. After 8 weeks of release, the film has now a worldwide gross of $869.8 million, making it the 8th highest grossing superhero film worldwide, right behind Spider-Man 3. Now that is a pretty significant number, but to Warner Brothers, it is considered a failure, but in no way is it a financial failure. To them, a failure means that it couldn't do better than its previous Batman films. And the previous Batman sequels, The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises, made a billion dollars. A film with Superman and Batman in it should be able to make a billion dollars. And not only that, it is the beginning of an Avengers-style film. And it should be able to do Avengers numbers, but it didn't. It underperformed according to Warner Brothers, but that's not going to stop them because they got a lot of films coming up for us especially Suicide Squad which comes out in August which I'm really really excited about but in some breaking news it just got reported from the Hollywood Reporter that there was another film that they just added to their calendar in the DC Extended Universe now there's no title for this film yet but according to THR it is an untitled Harlequin spin-off now a lot of news and uh, entertainment media websites are running with this right now, but there's just been a really, really recent update. And that is, it is not a Harley Quinn spin-off film, like a solo spin-off film. It is in fact a film with Harley Quinn in it, but also a lot of other female superheroes and supervillains, such as possibly Batgirl, and they're throwing names around such as Birds of Prey. Now, this sounds like a female Suicide Squad kind of thing going on, or just like they're a, a superhero version of the, the Expendables, but with female characters. But anyways, this is what they're doing. And it sounds to me kind of like they're taking a little bit of a playbook from... Uh, a, a, a play from Marvel's playbook, you know what I'm saying? Because if you look at Captain America's Civil War, Black Widow made quite a presence in there. She kicked so much ass to the point where the fans made a poll and they 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 uh, uh, it, and it resulted in wanting Black Widow to have her own solo film. And Kevin Feige responded to that, saying that it is in their it is in their uh, agenda to make it happen, just not in phase three. So, female hero kicking butt in a superhero film. Maybe, just maybe, Warner Brothers will be the first one to do that. And it could be with their Harlequin spinoff film, which isn't really a Harlequin spinoff film, but maybe she will be headlining that film. And by she, I mean Margot Robbie, which, who, who is not only playing Harley Quinn in this film, but also serving as a producer. After all, it has also been reported from The Hollywood Reporter that Margot Robbie is the one who pitched the idea to Warner Brothers. So this is what is happening. And this is really, really exciting to see these, these movements, or rather these moves being made over at Warner Brothers and in DC Entertainment. They're definitely doing something and it looks like it's a game of chess between DC Entertainment and Marvel Studios. Well, to me, there is no battle here. I will watch all those films. I love both properties. Regardless of how I felt about Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, I will continue and will look forward to all their films. Speaking of films that I'm looking forward to, The Batman, which I'm tentatively calling that for now. The Batman, the Ben Affleck starred, Ben Affleck directed solo Batman film 
is on the way and there's a little bit of news about it. Now I'm just going to recap on some of the news that has been talked about over the course of the last two weeks. I haven't made a DC edition update for a while so let's just recap on what has been going on and a lot has been going on. First of all, Ben Affleck not only is going to be starring and directing The Batman, he is also serving as an executive producer on the Justice League films. And I think he has, I think he's doing that mainly because he wants to set the Justice League films on the right track to the path of this Batman film. After all, it will be coming soon. Now, if, if Ben Matt Affleck is serving as an executive producer, he has creative input. He has the ability to inject his ideas into this film. And with his help, with Zack Snyder's vision, they could steer it into the right direction. After all, Ben Affleck is Batman was the best part about Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. So if he can just put more of that into these films, then perhaps we're going to end up with some really great films. Now, speaking of which, Ben Affleck and uh, 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 DC CCO Jeff Johns will have full creative control over the Batman film. Now that's a pretty big deal because studio executives, they're usually the ones that call the shots and you know, that's a very standard thing. But for the director and Jeff Johns to be able to, uh, you know, really put their minds into it really could tell us that we have a winner on our hands or at least something that has some great potential that's coming forth to us. So that's a pretty big deal to me. Now we're going to talk about rumors. Now rumors aren't really a big deal to me, but I think that these ones are pretty juicy. Um, the rumor is that Batman, or rather the Batman, the solo Batman film, will not feature the Under the Red Hood story, but it will feature a lot of Batman villains. Now there are a lot of Batman villains out there, and we've seen a lot of superhero films, or rather comic book films, suffer from too much villain syndrome and that's a bad thing after all it started happening with batman and robin the uh the film directed by joel schumacher and we know what happened there once you put too many villains in there you get batman and robin then you also get spider-man 3 because you have a uh, green goblin 2 a uh, sandman and also venom you know that that's just a lot of villains to take in these villains need to be fleshed out and developed before you put them all in a film so uh you know that could be a bad thing but they got they got a lot of uh great creative minds working on this so maybe they can make it work all right Another rumor is is uh, is Mad Max Fury Road director George Miller directing the Green Lantern Corps. This is just a rumor, but if he is directing it, I'd love to see that happen. <laughs> Another rumor is James Wan departing from Aquaman. That is not true. It's been debunked by James Wan himself after he posted a photo response on his Instagram of him standing in front of an Aquaman mural. So James Wan is still directing Aquaman. There's another rumor out there and that there's a lot of tension between Zack Snyder and Warner Brothers because of how Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice turned out both critically and financially. It opened big but it ended small in their opinion and because of that there's tension and this is going to affect Justice League. I believe that's a rumor. It's been reported uh, that it's out there like this tension is out there. I don't believe that one bit. Justice League is filming right now. It seems like a lot of good things are happening. But uh, you know what? If they're going to trust anyone, they should trust Zack Snyder. Because without Zack Snyder, you can't just replace a director. you got to find the right director. And at least Zack Snyder gave what the DC fans wanted. And that is a film that is very true to the comics. has a lot of comic book references. At the end of the day, a lot of DC fans enjoyed it. Finally, the last thing I want to talk about is not a rumor, but uh, I'm mainly just uh, uh, reporting on this. And according to The Hollywood Reporter, Seth Graham Smith departs from the Flash film because of creative differences. He originally was a director. Now they don't have a director. And that is official. He is no longer directing The Flash. So there is an opening position for the director of The Flash. 
Anyways, uh, that's, all, that's all I have to talk about in this video. A lot has happened since my last update, so I covered a lot of stuff. Congratulations to uh, Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice for making the amount of money that it made. I don't think it is a failure. I do think that they did a decent job, not only with the film, but also at the box office. It didn't make the 900 million, it didn't make the 1 billion that they wanted, but at least it was close. And you know, for them to start all over again, to reboot Batman again, I think they did a decent job. Anyways, Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice will be uh, appearing on home video release, DVD and Blu-ray on July 19th, and there's a various options you can get on DVD, you can get on a basic Blu-ray combo, you can get it in 3D Blu-ray, you can get it in 4K Blu-ray, and also there is of course the Steelbook Edition from Best Buy, which will not include a 4K or 3D edition. It's just the steelbook with the Blu-ray combo. Anyways, that's all I got to say in this video. As always, if you want to see more updates, hit that like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also follow me on Twitter, Rage Nation. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Story. Now, I'm not going to uh, you know, give you a, the details of the story away. I'll just tell you that this isn't like your standard superhero story. 